Hello there everyone, welcome back once again to another round of Slay the Spire. We are here with the Ironclad, so yeah, uh, switching level 14, lower max HP, it's going to start off damage, that's all going to be fun and annoying at the same time, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so we didn't even make it to the boss, okay, we have the option between the Chief's move or getting our, some of our max HP back. Uh, I mean, depending on how things go, we might actually be able to cheese out two elites. You know what? I think the risk is worth it. Of course, the risk, eh, the risk, the risk might not be worth it, but eh, I say it's just worth trying out. I mean, on the white side, we're at least getting most of our health back. Okay. Uh. Give me a shrug it off, that's a pretty good defensive item. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and upgrade... Let's go ahead and upgrade Bash. Uh, 50% good, 50 I I kind of like doing the 50% trade-off, but... I think just simply because of the fact that we have nails up mid, I think I'm just going to do the 7 HP. Damn it. Well, I mean, if, uh, uh, if we can still technically take out the buff delete, you would just gonna need to be a bit more careful. Oh, and hope that we don't get. Okay, we didn't get another fight. That's good. Uh, you know, I'll just simply destroy it, get some gold. Ah, it's a lock. Alright, well, I'm glad that we can take this guy out then. Hopefully, he doesn't end up reshuffling back to. Ooh, limit break? Well. Mm, I mean, if we can get some strength items, that would be awesome. Otherwise, we might be in some trouble now. I guess I'll go with. You know what? Limit Breaker is just simply a nice card, so if we can get some something that can just simply give us strength, then and you know what, we'll do it. So let's go ahead and split the, go ahead and then upgrade our Limit Breaker, so that way it doesn't exhaust. Although, I guess at this point we kind of want it to exhaust, so that way we can just simply use it and get it out of the way, and... But then again, if we can actually make use of it, like uh, having a and flame aim to power ourselves up then who knows it might actually end up being good. Uh let's see. I guess let's see. What should we do here? I guess let's go ahead and grab the flame and my flex is questionable for me. Yeah, I mean, sure, it will be useful in a deck where strength is important. We can basically get a f free strength from using it. But. Hmm, I think I'll just simply. You know what? I'll just simply take a. Nah. Hmm, I guess we'll do an attack potion. So let's see. Ooh, trying to go down all y'all. Nice. I like to, to see it. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten the cheese off. Unfortunate. But sometimes you just need to be unfortunate to realize how fortunate you are. Does that make sense? Not really. Alright. We weakened up this as a good amount. I probably should have used my ancient potion so that way I didn't get weakened, but. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, with the defend up twice so that way we avoid taking- Well, you know what, we could have taken a little bit of damage there because of the fact that we have burning blood, not to mention... Mm, yeah, we probably shouldn't have defended there. Oh well. Well, whatever the case, it's dead now. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, yeah. I guess the best item would be close line then. Oh, okay, well I'm kinda glad that I did it. Ended up using my uh big magic, so let's see what we get. Sure, we'll do a carnage. Some pretty decent damage I would say. Yep. Angry knob. Ooh, 
and he's going to do the thing, so let's go ahead and ancient potion ourselves. Uh, either way, we're going to end up taking two damage from the knob, so I think just simply, I think, oh yeah, I'll just not giving him the strength up while he's going to shrug it, might be good. Alright, we hit him with the clothesline and finish him off with cleave. Nice. Ooh, pack grab. Okay, we can take a bit more damage now. Uh, evolve might be decent, but I don't think it's really necessary. All right, what do we have? That's some damage. Well, luckily we can end up taking some damage, so I think I'm going to start off by trying to kill off the acid slime first. So. Ow. That hurt. Okay, we can inflame ourselves. Take out the acid so that way it doesn't weaken us. Yep, it bellows. Alright. Uh, let's go. I mean, is something up our strength really that important now? Not really. So let's just go ahead and weaken it and hit it with the cream. Nice. So cleave again. Double strike. Gonna take a little bit of damage, but we do have the pantograph and the budding blood, so not too afraid of actually taking damage. I mean, sure, in the early steps, it might be necessary to be afraid, but in these later steps where we're almost at the boss, we can basically just simply heal up to full. Uh, go ahead and upgrade our Inflame, so that way we're getting more strength from our uh, Limit Break. And, of course, we have to... I kind of regret it not taking Evolve now, but whatever. So... Might as well just start striking down our one. The, the front strength, the, the front strength, yeah. Language, I can do it today, I promise. It might be early in the morning for me, but uh, I promise I can still do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and limit break, and... Let's see. Might as well just simply hit up the clothesline. Since that's our most damaging move. I mean, if we had two strikes, then that would have been a different story, but we didn't. Okay, leave, strike. I shall hit the other guy with the strike since we're getting more defense from our OE outcome than we do from uh, the uh, from defending, save for shrug it. Uh, let's see, 16, 12, okay. Might as well just simply take out another sentry. I mean, sure, we're getting damaged, but eh, it's not the worst thing to uh, have ever happened. So I probably should have used Shrug it there, and because that way we might have been able to draw off another days, but whatever. Alright, take it out. Ooh, Blood Vial. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, I mean, Pummel might be. Good, since we're constantly gaining strength. The uh, only bad part about it is that uh, it will always exhaust even if we upgrade it. So... I think I'll just simply do emulate since... So let's see, if we upgrade the damage, it gets 7 more. Uh, applies 3 weak, gets more, 3 more damage, so... I think let's just go ahead and upgrade the close line since it applies another turn of weak. Alright, go ahead and play myself. Uh, I'm going to hit him with the emulates. Uh, might as well. It does a lot of damage, so no reason why not. Wow, okay, well, this is a shit hand. Guess we'll have to use our attack motion now. Feet fire. That might be a good con. Of course, the uppercut might also be nice. 
know, I think I'll take the other pet. So, let's see. Hit up the close line for a weekend. And we'll strike. I'm not too afraid of taking the thorn damage since we're going to be covering a lot of our HP since that's the end of a boss battle. I'm gonna shrug it off here. Although I probably shouldn't have. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, no. Darn it. I guess. I guess if if I uh, if we end turn then, and I guess all the outcome checks then. Uh, it's good to know. Good to know for the future. Alright. I'll take six damage. I'm fine with that. So break out the limit. Either way, it's going to be transforming back, so I think bashing it will be the best answer since that way we get the vulnerability for a longer vulnerability on it. So, yeah, this is logic. Uh, I mean, at this point, we might as well try to wash them down with high damage attacks. Unfortunately, we were pretty close to hitting him down with high damage. Alright, but that, but that finishes that. Alright, what do we have? Ooh, I don't really like any of these cards. <sighs> Kinda wish we had a sink. I guess, uh, I mean, we could go for... No, I don't think Corruption is the ideal play there. So let's just go ahead and... Okay, uh, I'm not really into Westing, so I think the Coffee Dripper is probably the best answer. Alright, uh, we have a lot of money, so hitting up a merchant would be great. Unfortunately, there's only like two... There's only three on this level, so... I guess let's go ahead and take, uh... Actually, hold on. Uh, there's not really that many... We don't really have that many cards that we want, want to upgrade. Um, I guess let's go ahead and look at the list then. I guess there is a path that we can take that has a good amount of elite, so... Sure, let's go ahead and uh, go that way. Alright, uh, wow, this is a horrible hand. Alright, shrug it. Unfortunately, we won't really have enough, so might as well just kind of link out here. At least we avoided letting the shuffle inside actually give damage to us. Here we go. Oh wait, no, I have- oh my goodness, I'm uh, stupid, I have more energy now. Ah, oh, I'm so used to working with three energy a lot. Ah, uh, I did the stupid. I so much to the stupid. Ah, uh, man. Not to sell. Don't do a stupid. Alright, uh. So let's go ahead and double our strength again. Hit him with another close line. And. Yeah, you know what? Might as well strike. The only outcome will give us a. Funny how the OE outcome weaken combo is actually working pretty good for us. Bash and hit. Okay. Uh Pommel Strike might be good. Gives us a card. Alright, what do we have? Uh choose one of twenty or heal. Um I'm not really that afraid, so I think I'll just simply do the one of twenty. So, what do we have? Uh, I guess we'll do Inflame. Not that Inflame never will help give us a bit more uh, stuff, so. I'll take. Let's see, two potions, please. Thank you. Ooh, got the birds, unfortunately. 
And they're all planning on doing the attack. Shit. Alright, well, I guess technically that's good since we actually, by taking out one of the birds, we're basically only taking only six damage. Due to the fact that, uh, the outcome is going to block six. So, I guess that's good. So, let's go ahead and take care of this bird. And... Well, it's a bit unfortunate, but I guess we're going to need to take a little bit of more damage here. Why did you have to change to the 14 attack option? That's rude. Okay. So we'll go ahead and inflame ourselves. We don't want this bird to... Uh... You know, I might as well hit both of them. I don't really care too much about the burn. It's a shame that we couldn't get a... Well, hold on, let's take a look. Yeah, we, there was a chance that we could have gotten something good. Unfortunately, we didn't, but whatever, you know? So let's see... Fire and Flame. We could just simply kill off the bird. And you know what? I think that's what I'll just simply do. I tried to get all fancy with it, with trying to take out the bird with strikes, but I guess not. I mean, I have to remember that uh, it's okay to use the, uh, to use, uh, to use the Ori outcome. Because I, I want to uh, try and kill stuff, like, before they have a chance. Uh, you know what, uh, I think I'll just be the Scott Davis, uh. Uh, is it typically really worth it? Nah, not really. I almost took Entrench there, which would have been bad. <laughs> Tungsten Ward. Nice! Oh, wait, what are we facing? Oh, these guys. Yeah. I don't like these guys that much. I think for these guys, I think I'm going to drink that hard to buy. So I got ourselves inflamed. Let's go ahead and start taking care of the slaver in the back. Because screw this guy in particular. Ow. Okay. Uh, might as well use Limit Wake. Hit him with Cleave. Finish off the slaver before he has a chance. And unfortunately, that's not. Okay, nice. We got the inflame, so. Hit him with the inflame. And. Might as well just simply start taking out the final slaver since he's doing hella damage. I'm actually kind of not worried about the last slaver, so. The fact that our Uwe Outcome and Heart of Steel are giving us a shit ton of blocks, so we could just simply tough this guy out. Ooh, the offering. Uh, you know what? I'm taking it. Offering is just too good. Go ahead and go ahead and get the offering to give us five cards. Although I probably should have uh, upgraded my. Whatever. Shrug it. And... Start stabbing. Start stabbing the Book of Stabs. Alright, we got limit. Hit it with the clothesline. Hit it with a strike. Ow. That hurt. Alright, top of strike. Well, I mean, we're definitely going to do some pretty serious damage to the book, although the book is going to do some damage to me now. I'm a bit worried. Oof. 
All right, we're going to need to offer. All right, nice. Got this blue stone. Eh. Not really the card I was looking for here. Oh, artifact, I mean. Lantern will be nice. Oh, not again with these guys. Seriously? Okay, we're going to need to plate the armor. And... Okay, start taking out the slaver. Okay, flame. Break out limit. Blessings of the Forge. Take out the slaver. And go ahead and activate Shrug. Alright, that does protect us. Alright. Um, in this case, let's go ahead and close the line. Ah, damn it. Alright. Well, I messed that one up. Well, whatever. I definitely could have killed him if I didn't mess up the fact that I should have went for the correct order with, since I had the extra energy from the happy flower. Oh well. I mean, on the boy's side with the, the uh, plated armor combined with uh, block damage, we should be able to... Plated armor plus uh, OE outcome that we should be good. Another flame, thank you very much. At this point, that's our only way of getting strength, so... Oh, for fuck. Nope, I am not, not losing my gold here. I don't care if I die, I am not losing gold. Uh, probably gonna regret that decision, you know, but... Eh. Uh, we cannot point here, you shrug it, get in flame, use limit. Alright, so I believe Bear only reduces my dexterity by 2. That's livable, that is livable. Okay, go ahead and activate another flame. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get rid of Romeo. It gets rid of Romeo and Pointy, so I wouldn't. I wasn't too sure if it was going to get rid of Bear. So go ahead and give us some more strength, and that should yeah, 34 damage. 34 damage exactly. So hmm, Iron Wave might be. No, no, it's not good. It would have, it would give us defense, which we don't really need. So, might as well go to the shop now. Oh my goodness, the swaffle! That is a lifesaver. I'm facing up against a collector, so it might actually be good to get the waffle. So, let's see. Get ourselves an energy potion. Take out uh, the fan. Because at this point, those are, those cards are just kind of filler. And I guess that's about it. Oh, I feel so much better thanks to these waffles. Okay, go ahead and give us a flame. <coughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. Alright, emulate all of them. Might as well just kind of defend since. I mean, sure, we're going to take one. Actually, no, we won't even take damage because of the fact that our tungsten water will take off a damage. That's nice. Alright, go ahead and flame ourselves. Use pommel. We have another. Uh, mm. You know what? Damn it. I was close. Actually. Who says that we have to set for being one? Eh, well, we're still going to be damaged anyways. So, you know what, might as well... 
Might as well go for the route that gives us a less amount of damage. Sure, he's going to do seven damage three times, but we can take him out pretty easily. Ooh, actually, this sword boomerang might be good since, hence with all the strength that we're acquiring. Okay, so go ahead and upgrade it out in flame again. Ah, uh, come on, give me something good. That is not something good. Not at all. Okay, we got the end flame, so you know what I'll take. Alright. Okay, close line heal since you're doing the most damage. Three to damage all of them, and I guess sort of moving just to see where it goes. Alright, I'm gonna get a bit of damage here, but you know what? I think we'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay, play ourselves again. Uh, you know what? Get rid of this flame head so that way we can reduce the amount of damage that we're taking. Now. Nice. Alright, uh, go ahead and offer. There we go. Now we're talking money. Now we're getting the big bucks. Once we start, once we get our uh, in the flames up, and once we start our second two of you little breaks, oh my goodness, the power! Yeah, you can't stop this power. Dog. Nice. Ooh. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh. Another mm. off we might be good for. Uh, next attack is played twice, or... So really, uh, either choice between off-wing or double tap. I think I'm going to go with off-wing. What do we have? Uh, give me the Slaver Scholar. Gives us incentive to go after elites more... Oh shit, we're facing up against it. Uh, we're facing up against the Time Eater. New... I guess we can. This is we have the singular path with the elite. So if we really want to make use of the slaver's color. We might. We want to go down that way. Although there is another path that has three elites. With uh, this one. Uh, what has more west sides? Uh, because I do want to try and get some upgrades. Uh, they both kind of have the same amount, and I kind of noticed is that, you know what, I think this path might be good since it has a lot of question marks, and question marks can... It's funny how question marks uh, can be pretty good for us here. So let's go ahead and play. Uh, we'll use off wing. Oh, I probably should have used the oh. Go ahead and flame again, then use the wing. See where the sword movement strikes. Might as well take out the spiker. Here's a cleave. And you know what? Round it all off with a uh, strike. Thank you for the sword food wing, I'll take it. Uh you know what? I'll fight. Ooh, slime boss. Okay, you know what? We can Oh yeah, our panto grab works. Ah <laughs> that's good. Uh, come on, give me something good. Nice, I'll take it. So, let's just go ahead and start getting rid of a few cards in our hand. Okay, we should be good, so we'll use off again. Get the flame. Oops, and I think we interrupted him a bit too early. Oops. Not good, but... Uh, I mean, we did go through a lot of cards in our hand, so... And give ourselves a bit more power. Use the emulate and yeah, we're good. I mean, sure we could have killed it by using 
But because of the fact that it's splitting, I think it would be fine. Easy. Oh, really? An old coin? That... Uh, whipped off. That's what I feel. I can't believe I got the whipped coin from that. Get rid of a defense because we don't really need it. Oh great, we got the freaking darklings. Lovely. Alright, offer. Flame. Okay. So, let's go ahead and bash this one since it has the most amount of health. Do some damage. Do another offering. Uh, I guess then we'll just simply take out this one and... I think we should be fine. We should be able to kill off the last Dockney. So let's just see where that goes. <laughs> Okay, look at it. It should be fine. Double and flame. Is this what we're doing? Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll be. I don't really need those cards. Ooh, the pendant. Now that's a good one. Might as well go for the campfire to smith up since we can't really rest. Improve our offering so we can draw more cards. Oh, it's a giant head. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with this. So, go ahead and offer. Double and flame. Then we bash. Follow, follow it up with... Fox Strike. We strike, hit them with the cleave, and that's all. Okay, pretty good damage, I would say. Yes, yes. Salt Boomerang again. Oh, wait, not Salt Boomerang. Uh, it flame up. Uh, we defend, so that way we can stack up the really slow. And. Yes, she is. Keep counting me down. Alright, we offer. Let's see. We limit break. We strike. Ooh. Uh, yeah, might as well hit him with the. Oh, yeah. I forgot, he was still. Uh, he was still kind of. Finally, we get heavy paid. Uh, alright, we'll go to the left since that way we can fight the beats. Oh great, it's a freaking tentacles. Lovely. Okay, offer. See what we get. Okay, use our flame. Uh, shoot. Okay, flash. I mean, it's not actually attacking, so we can use it to defend. We'll... And then with that, we'll go ahead and use offering again. Shit. Okay. Well, we tried. Well, I mean, this heavy blade is still going to do a shit ton of damage. So did the sword boomerang, so I think all, all went well in the world. So I think we can kill him off next turn, I believe. Yeah, he said. Nice. Uh, I think we're good with cards. So we're going to want to go down this white side. We have so much money, but there, sadly there's no merchant that we can't spend that money. Oh, hi, there was Oh, wait, you're, you're not the you're, you're the trans. My bad. Thank you. 
Okay, thankfully with the about we outcome we don't take any damage, so good. Okay, off of up, let's see what we get. Nice, you love to see getting in the flame. Head on the bash. Go ahead and give out the Fusu on the boom wing. Let's see what we get from the Mount Pommel. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, whatever. Okay, what do we have? Oh, we have an inflame. We have a liver break. We have an off -man. And then there's Bash. Go ahead and increase the amount of time. And then we can sort of and you know what, just to play it safe, we'll hit him with the close line. Get another limit wake up. Dude, big! Oh. I probably should have used. Eh, actually, no, I don't, I don't regret using uh, Emulate and Strike there. Alright. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. And that's not even taking into effect that. Sheesh! Alright, we'll do it. I think it might be. Yeah, we actually managed to kill the trash heap again. Nice. We'd love to see. Alright, let's see what these elites have for me. Oh, it's. Oh, uh, God, it's a Romancer. Alright. Well, here's the hoping. Damn it. Uh, they all hit the Reptomancer, which I'm kind of fine with, but uh, I'm going to take a lot of damage from these stupid daggers. I mean, we did do some good damage to the Reptomancer, so we might be able to cheese her down, so... Oh boy, she is not appreciating the fact that I was trying to cheese her down. Uh, okay. Shrug. Offer. I kind of need some more. Come on. Okay, you know what? I can actually make do with this. Because... Smash into heavy... Heavy... Heavy slam. Um, equals death. Uh... Do I have to get metal size? Uh... It might be good, I mean, it does basically guarantee us 10 block if we don't use OEL. So, you know what, I think, wait, did I? Okay, we did get metallicized, I was a bit worried there. Go ahead and get upgrade. Oh, hi there again. I'm not too scared of the head, so... Let's see, what did we draw? Ooh, nice, two in flames. I like it. Alright. Uh, defend. So. I mean, we could. Uh, actually, no, let's not play our curse. Leave, and I guess we'll then hit them with the. Wait. I mean, we've got rid of over 100 HP, so. We should be able to kill him. Ooh. Tough hand. Well, sometimes you just have to deal with it. I mean, we do. You are doing some pretty good damage with Sword and Wing with the. because of the pen nib and. his, uh. slow. Alright, off up. See what we get. Another inflame going, love to see it. Bit of a bash. Okay. Get a penny blade. Then. Well, I could have done more damage, but I'm a bit worried that I might screw this up. Well, might as well just simply shrug it and finish him off next turn. Let's 
Yeah, I think we finished him off. Yep. Shovel, eh? Okay. Let's give me the double tap. And... You know what? Give me the power potion. If we can get a demon form... Yeah, sure, I'll fight. Not afraid of these things. Okay, I might be a little bit afraid. Well, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Ow. Ow. Okay, flame up. Head up with the ammo light. And go ahead and attack sites. Okay. Now we just need to take out this final orb. Hey, there's our frames. Ah, that will take a moment. Unfortunately, I kind of don't really want to grab the energy potion. Alright, what do we have to upgrade? Double tap. Honestly, these gold cards have already been sitting in my blood, but now we have to deal with the fact that the time meter is just going to be like, Yo, uh, those are some nice cards, but I'm going to need you to snap. Alright, so start, starting it off, let's see. <sighs> Give me that flame. Okay, so how many cards can I play per turn? Right, okay. Size. So, what I'll do is I'll use double tap. Hit them with the double bash. Hit them with the double heavy blade. And hit them with the sword blade. Shit. I need to energy potion here. Hit him with the emulate and then hit him with the strike, which activates his thing. But I think we should be good. He's going to buff himself with the with whatever he does. <sighs> All right, you know what? I'll take brutality. Fuck it. Okay, hit him with the pommel. Hit him with the close. He's going to recover. I can't remember what he... Okay. Uh, hit him with the strike and we'll leave him on that. Basically, he kind of resets himself. Yeah, he resets himself. Alright, go ahead and activate our inflames. Use our limit break. Shit. I'll only be able to play one card next time. That sucks. I mean, we do have the health that we could probably end up taking the damage, I think, probably. Okay, yeah, he's... Uh, just hit him with the bash. So, because that way we can prep for the future turn. So. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. What? You don't really have a lot of time. Yeah, get it? Time eater. Not. I'm. Just kill him. Okay, you know what? That. It wasn't too bad. The deck wasn't too bad. 1514. And oh lord, we had a lot of money. <laughs> but on the bright side, we are now on Ascension level 15. So. It's all gonna get harder. But what is Ascension level 15 here? Anyways. Oh, great. So the events are going to start sticking us now. Great. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button as well as comment down below. Hit that subscribe button because it's you guys and gals that make this channel alive. See you all next time.